guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about status of Parazoa. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please like, comment, and share my video. So when we talk about the status of a particular animal, it means where the animal is placed in its taxonomy, or you can say what is its systematic position. Now, Parazoa is a sub-kingdom which generally groups a single phylum, Porifera. But according to some authors, Parazoa includes organisms of two phylum, Porifera and Placozoa. So, Porifera consists of sponges and Placozoa consists of a basal form of marine free living multicellular organisms. So there has been a great controversy over the affinities of Porifera since they were discovered. Aristotle 384 to 322 BC, he was the first who recognized them as animals. But later, biologists believed them as plants because of their sessile nature. Robert Gran in 1836 finally established a separate phylum, Porifera, for the sponges. The parazoa resemble the protozoa in the following features. They have some affinities with protozoa. So resembles are like cellular grade of organization without well-defined tissue and organs. Both protozoa and parazoa, they have cellular grade of organization. They do not have any well-defined tissue as well as organs. Digestive cavity is absent in both of them and intracellular digestion present. That means digestion takes place inside the cell. Skeleton production. So both of them produce Skeleton. Absence of gonads, they do not have gonads or reproductive organs. Presence of amoeboid cells. So these cells, amoeboid cells, these cells are amoeba-like cells. So amoeba are protozoans that we all know. Now amoeba-like cells are also present in sponges or in Parazoa. They have two functions in parazoa. They engulf and digest food as well as they secrete a material that helps to keep the sponge flexible. Now differences. So the parazoa differ from the protozoa in the following features. So first is Multicellular body of parazoa. Parazoa have multicellular body, whereas protozoa are unicellular, right? Unique canal system, that is the water canal system, that is very unique, that is present only in parazoa. It is absent in protozoa. The characteristic skeleton present in parazoa. So I have told that both of them, both parazoa and protozoa, they contain skeleton, but a peculiar type of skeleton, it is the unique type of skeleton is only present in parazoa. So these are some differences. Affinities with metazoa. So among metazoa, cylindrates, Cylindrates exhibit maximum similarities with 
parazoa in the following features so both are sedentary in habit so you can see this is the sponge this is parazoa and silentoreta is the member of metazoa so both of them are sedentary in habit they do not move they they are multicellular animals both of them are multicellular animals both are acelomate and diploblastic that means both of them do not have coelom or body cavity that's why they are acelomate and they are diploblastic that means they have only two germ layers ectoderm and endoderm they do not have mesoderm so mesoderm is absent in both of them therefore they are diploblastic they have only endoderm and ectoderm both of them undergo asexual reproduction the parenchymula larva of sponges are comparable with planula larva of silentorates both of them have larva and the larva of sponges are parenchymula whereas the larva of silentorata are planula so they are comparable that means both of them have some similarities the water vascular system of sponge is comparable with the gastrovascular cavity of silentorates so this is the sponge they have the water vascular system inside their body water enters through this way and then water flows or water exists their body in this way and silentorata have the gastrovascular cavity this is the gastrovascular cavity now the water vascular system of sponges opens through the terminal osculum this is the terminal big large pore that is called osculum so this is comparable with the gastrovascular cavity of silentrates that open through the terminal hypostoma so this is the terminal hypostoma this is the opening that is comparable with this osculum of sponge now there are some differences so the parazoa differ from the metazoa in the following features first parazoa are at the cellular grade of organization whereas metazoa are at the tissue and organ grade of organization parazoa do not have tissue or organ grade of organization they do not have well developed tissue well developed organs whereas metazoa have well developed tissue well developed organs parazoa are having very less specialized cell so the cells of parazoa are not very specialized compared to metazoa parazoa consist of quanocytes so quanocytes are absent in metazoa quanocytes are some cells which are found in the interior lining of sponge body unlike metazoa parazoa do not have mouth digestive cavities are absent in parazoa nervous system is absent in parazoa so these are some differences between parazoa and metazoa now the body of sponges is perforated by multiple pores and they have a unique water canal system which is absent in metazoa so you can see in this picture multiple pores are present in their body and they have the water canal system that is absolutely unique in sponges and that is absent in metazoa sponges are diploblastic 
That means they have only ectoderm and endoderm. They do not have mesoderm. Whereas metazoa except cilenterate. Cilenters is the exceptional. Here cilenters are also diploblastic. But otherwise metazoa are triploblastic. So due to these differences, the parazoa are neither grouped with protozoa nor metazoa. Therefore, a separate phylum Porifera has been created for sponges.